Uh, welcome in this session. We will see what is a replication slot in PostgreSQL and uh, whether it should be enabled, it should be disabled, or there is some other alternative for uh, PostgreSQL replication slot. So just consider a situation wherein you have the uh, streaming replication set up between uh, a primary PostgreSQL and a standby or a replica. So for the streaming replication to happen, there should be a network, consistent network between primary and uh, standby PostgreSQL. But there may be a scenario wherein there is some sort of uh, disconnection between your primary and the standby, or maybe your pri your replica or the standby may be in maintenance mode so that there is some kind of uh, connection uh, what do you say the connection is not there between primary and the standby so what happens in that case in that case wall files will not be able to to move over the network to the standby and in in any case uh, for the streaming application to happen you need to ensure that wall files on primary they do not get uh, deleted in case they get deleted due to some reason then the the uh, the only way is either you retrieve it from uh, some backup if you have already taken if not in that case what you have to do is you have to reinitiate your standby using pg base backup if it is a small environment it is it doesn't take too much of time but it is an overhead on the operations just to avoid this case there are a couple of scenarios which can be implemented uh, so replication slot is one of one of the stuff if if you do not want to do that uh, what you can do is you can retain your uh, wall archives for a longer time so that they do not get deleted you should have to implement some sort of policies so that they they stay on the disk and whenever it is required for the standby uh, they can be replicated or in if uh, you have to transfer uh, manually due to some XYZ reason, you have to do it. But to avoid all such kind of issue, there was a concept which was released in, I think, Postgre 9.4, I believe so, wherein it was said that uh, replication slot, it is going to be the solution of all this problem. So replication slot is going to help you to get rid of the issue wherein walls are getting deleted from the primary if we go with the traditional way which says that wall keep segments or wall keep size which is in the newer version if i keep it to a higher value but we will not know or we do not estimate what should be the higher value of wall keep uh, segments or wall keep size in newer version then you have to uh, to rely on the PostgreSQL replication slot. So in this case, what happens is the primary is not going to uh, remove the wall files from the uh, from the PG log uh, uh, wall location. If you do not use, then you have to set your wall keep segments high or wall keep uh, size value to to higher value so that they do not get uh, deleted. So in any case, whatever uh, uh, option you choose, you, you need to have the higher value of the uh, wall log uh, 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 directory. And uh, if you are using the replication slot, then it may be possible that uh, your, uh, because it is not going to delete uh, the wall log, so in that case, it may be overutilized, or there may be a situation where in, uh, where in, uh, it may be possible that you run out of the storage and your application starts uh, or your your application is going to to, uh, to fail so there are two terms which are used one is wall keep segment another is wall keep size so it was there in the older version well, since i'm using postgresql 13 so you will be seeing the wall keep size wherein you have to mention what is the size that you wanted to maintain let's talk about the postgresql replication slot so this has been uh, been uh, there from postgresql 9.4 considering that if there is a replica standby which is uh, which is unavailable for a very long time due to some maintenance or network issue then 
if you implement postgre replication slot the wall logs will not be deleted from the primary and this is to avoid the situation wherein uh, wall log files are deleted let me show you the scenario here uh, what i have done is uh, uh, using some uh, uh, some techniques or uh, uh, workaround i have uh, ensured that the the wall which is not not a good way but uh, this is just to demonstrate that uh, the wall logs which is required by the standby that has got deleted so if you see it started streaming wall from primary at on this line the error says requested wall segment has already been removed and if you okay i think that the the error is more than sufficient so now what is going to happen in this case wherein wall is already unavailable and that is required by the replica to move uh, uh, to keep the, the streaming replication going on since it is already removed what you need to do is you need to reinitiate your pg underscore base backup using a fresh backup so that uh, it has all the wall log files and from here onwards whatever is generated will be streamed to the standby environment what is the disadvantage of replication slot since this was uh, uh, when it was launched it was uh, mentioned as one of the good thing but over a period of time it was found out uh, that replication slot more than the good feature it has been a disadvantage because it is not going to re release the uh, old wall log files unless or until you drop and recreate your uh, uh, recreate your uh, replication slot in some cases it may be possible when you are uh, uh, dropping and recreating it may it may drop uh, it may remove the the latest wall log files which is required by the standby so you have two kinds of the repl replication slot one is the physical replication slot which is used in in case of your uh, a streaming replication uh, wherein the wall files will be applied on the standby the another is the logical standby uh, logical replication slot that will be used for and in that case uh, it will be used for the logical replication and you need a, a plugin so how can we create a replication slot so what you can do is just to find out what replication slot is available you can simply fire select star from pg underscore replication underscore, underscore slot on the primary if you wanted to drop it you would just have to uh, to say uh, this command you can give any name uh, whatever you want it to give whatever is available it is with some name so i'm going to just uh, drop it with that name so you can see that it has been dropped if i just say select start from pg underscore replication as slot it is it is going to be dropped and it is not available if you see the uh, the error it is showing that this particular slot is not uh, available since this is an already unused kind of uh, setup because the wall files which is required is unavailable just to replicate the scenario i'm just going to recreate the slot so i'm saying select pg underscore create a physical replication slot some slot so you can see that a replication slot is created uh, this is the the different uh, columns are slot name it is given the slot type is physical and if it is plugin that means if some name is there that means logical replication will be there which will be applicable for a particular database wherein database uh, object identifier will be there then you have the database name is it temporary no it is active in our case this is not working uh, this is showing the false because the, the required wall files are uh, unavailable and there are some uh, more uh, uh, details available so you can drop you can recreate 
Uh, when you drop it, it is going to uh, you can release the uh, the old wall logs. This is so. There are two theories behind this: whether we should use the uh, the replication slots or we should keep the higher value of uh, wall keep segments or wall keep size depending upon your environment how you are maintaining your wall files one of these two options are available and that can be carefully uh, chosen some of the environments believe that uh, if you keep the higher value of wall keep segments it is going to help in uh, and some of the other environments they they feel that the replication slot is safer as it is going to retain the wall logs for a longer period ensuring they have enough storage uh, available for them i hope this is going to help and uh,